our overarching vision is to have safe and inspiring environments for students, so no matter what we do and how we do it, that's where we want to end up. It's really, really important that when we're thinking about investment, we're always thinking about that student in the classroom, that classroom in the school, that school in the community. We're at our three and a half million dollar makeover. It feels like grand designs in the area of schools. I feel like in this project there are so many people involved, but the people most aligned to probably the ministry and our school, that they're guarding our interests. They allow me to do my job as a principal and looking after student achievement. So they do the property. I do the achievement. I think that a lot can be said about the environment we give to the children and so when we give a fresh, new, modernised environment, we tell the children that they're worth something. We're telling our community that they're worth three and a half million dollars. I want us to be wise about our investment, so the outcomes around better efficiency, having more money to spend in a targeted way. Kelvin is an example where we have looked at what a number of the issues are that are occurring at the school. There were several different issues, water tightness, seismic strengthening, asbestos removal, and a number of things. The great thing about uh, how we're working now is that those things are all bundled in, into one project and we're working with uh, Stephen Cross uh, from the property team in the ministry and he's our point of contact and then he gets to work with other people behind the scenes. He was able to streamline all of those projects together and I think we've got the best for the school and, and the kids. Property plays a really important role in the education of, of New Zealand children. It's more than just bricks and water. It's a